Hi, this is Gary with MacMos Now. On today's episode, let's look at taking HDR pictures on the iPhone 4. So HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and it's available in iOS 4.1 if you have an iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 of course has a much higher resolution camera than previous iPhones and the new iPod Touch and it also has a much faster processor which is required for combining photos to make an HDR photo. So an HDR photo is when three pictures are taken instead of one, each at a different exposure level and then those three photos are combined to make one photo that has better definition between very bright areas and very dark areas of the photo. So for instance, here's a photo of me and you can see that my face is kind of in shadow uh, caused by my baseball cap. Now here's the HDR version and you can see there's much more detail in my face and you still get all the detail in the background. In fact, you get more detail all around with an HDR photo in this case. Now let's zoom in on that same photo and you can see more clearly the difference between the standard and the HDR. The great thing about how the iPhone takes HDR photos is you get two photos in your camera roll. One is the HDR photo but you also get a copy of the standard exposure photo just in case the HDR didn't work out. So here's another photo of me and if we switch to the HDR version we see that uh, it certainly is a little different, it's brighter in my face but there's a problem. If we look all the way out over the uh, in the back we see there's some flags and we zoom in on those flags we see there's a double image. It's because the three images taken uh, the camera moved ever so slightly during the time of those images taken. So you end up with that uh, error in the photo. Uh, so one way you can deal with that of course is to simply go back to the original image instead and you can see that image there doesn't have the double flags. So that's a good uh, reason why you may want to have both images and choose between them later on. Now one of the uses of uh, HDR photography is indoors and it works particularly well if you have a light source in the photo. For instance, the screen here on my MacBook is uh, a light source and everything in the background is dark in comparison even though the room is lit pretty normally. So if I were to switch to the HDR version we can see I get much more definition behind the screen uh, there combining the light emanating from the MacBook and the natural light in the background to give me the best overall image. So some notes about HDR. First you need iOS 4.1 and you need an iPhone 4. It doesn't work on older versions of the iPhone which have lower resolution cameras and slower processors and it doesn't work on the new iPod Touch which has a much much lower resolution camera. It's really a video camera that just allows you to take stills. Also, it doesn't work with the flash. If you turn the flash on, it automatically turns HDR off and if you turn HDR on, it automatically turns the flash off. This makes sense because the flash would have to fire three times to be visible in all three photos. So I hope you like this look at HDR photos on the iPhone 4. I've got the feature turned on all the time unless I'm using the flash because you always can go back to the original photo if HDR doesn't do a good job. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.